Hello, welcome to Simon Shield Cars, and today we're going to show you a Mitsubishi Outlander we've got for sale. So, this car is the uh, Outlander PHEV, so this is the plug-in hybrid. So, what you've got here is a 2-litre petrol engine combined with electric power, which is plug-in, so you can charge this directly through a 3-pin plug, a normal socket, um, but it will also charge via the uh, petrol engine as well, so you've got the best of all the worlds. Four-wheel drive. This is a 2015, it's the GX4, so quite a high specification on this. Automatic, just over 56,900 miles. Complete Mitsubishi service history, so it's been maintained by them throughout. Um, the car was actually owned by a director of a, of a local company up in Norwich. Um, came to us directly from him, he bought a replacement, he was really happy with this and he had a newer one. Um, so let's have a look around and then we'll show you some of the technicalities of the car as well. Um, as you can see, um, in black it looks really good because you've got the chrome bits which are set off nicely here, front fog lights as you'd expect. This has got xenon headlights as well, so nice bright lights on the car. Uh, metallic black, I think I've said that before, not standard black. Um, really nice alloy wheels, all in good order. Coming around the back here, as you can see, all nice and tidy and clean. Nice chrome trims on the back here as well. Um, we've got electric operated uh, tailgate here as well so as you can see that's going to open itself um, just while I think about it on the way up as well this has got the reversing camera also which comes up on the screen inside which we'll have a look at in a moment um, in the back here plenty of space in here we've got the load area cover we've got folding seats as you'd expect lovely and clean and tidy and down under here, this is actually the charging lead. So basically, I'll show you where this, you plug this into the car, you've got a three pin socket here, plug, sorry, that goes into the socket. And quite simply, you need nothing more than that. No specific charging points, nothing like that. And you can charge this. The, the charged up and uh, running around town, you can expect to do around about 30 miles on the electric. As you accelerate, um, then the, if it needs more power, then the uh, petrol engine will cut in. Similarly, if the power runs right down, you'll run on petrol. Um, so we've got two axes uh, where you would normally expect to find uh, just the one on one side. This is petrol on this side, so if you need to put petrol in this side. And then coming around the other side here, in here, you've got the two charge points. Um, the smaller one here, this is where you plug in the lead that we have. Plug straight in there and straight into a three pin plug socket. Fast charging, if you go to one of the charging points, you've got a separate uh, charge point there as well. So, looking down the side of the car, all in lovely condition. Let's just show you the side. As you can see in here, full black leather. Still smells new inside this car. Got proper carpet mats in here as well. Tip top condition. And inside the front. Oh, we've got keyless locking on this as well. So, just push that little button as long as the keys are with you and you can lock the car. And keyless start inside the car so there's nowhere to actually put a key into the car. As you can see, um, leather all in good order. We've got electric seat here for the driver and usual complement of electric windows and folding mirrors on the door here. So with the automatic gearbox on this you've got paddle shift on the steering wheel here as you can see. You've also on the steering wheel we've got the cruise control and the controls for the computer and the phone. As you can see 56,930 miles currently. And just moving across into the middle, we've got the sat nav on the screen here as you can see. This has also got the reversing camera and also the Bluetooth as well built in. Also. DAB radio. And moving down, we've got the climate control. And then, as I said, automatic down the middle there. We've got heated seats in the car as well. Okay, so up here as you can see, we've got the sunroof in here, so you've got a blind. And also, um, this is electric, so you can either slide it or tilt it to suit. Which is right. Let's show you underneath the bonnet. There we go. So, as you can see here, it's kind of split in two parts. You've got the petrol engine down here. This is a four-cylinder, two-liter petrol engine, and over here you've got the hybrid uh, part to this as well. So you've got the two separate operations here. So yeah, just to go through that again, simply um, once this is charged up, either by the petrol engine or by plug-in. Um, uh, this will do about 30 odd miles um, in electric mode. Uh, if you need more power, um, accelerate and the petrol engine will cut in to, to uh, complement the electric. 
Um, so you've got the, a really great combination, particularly, I mean, we're out in the countryside here. I don't think we could rely on, on fully electric vehicles, but this is a great combination. And because of its really low emissions, um, this doesn't qualify for any taxes um, in London, which is great. Um, and all, obviously zero road tax as well. So if you combine that with the practicality, practicality of four-wheel drive and automatic, you've got a really practical vehicle. These I can see why they're so popular. And it's lovely to drive. This tr drives beautifully. It's really, really nice. So there we have it. Let's just run through that again. This is the 2015 Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV plug-in hybrid GX4 specification. Automatic, 56,900 miles, complete Mitsubishi service history. Please refer to the photographs um, on the website because we photograph all the service history, all the keys, you'll see everything that we've got for the car. So um, please do have a look at that. Um, lovely condition all round, um, really well maintained car.